close your eyes and make up your mind you're going to stay right here, watching the breath coming in, watching the breath going out. As for anything else that comes up, you don't have to pay any attention to it. Stick with your original intention. This is going to require mindfulness, in other words, remembering the intention, and alertness, watching what the mind is doing, to make sure it stays in line with that intention. And then ardency. You want to really do this well. You're not just going through the motions. Because you want to look very carefully at what you're doing. That's what the meditation is all about. We're shaping our experience in the present moment, but we usually do it out of ignorance. By the way we breathe, by the way we talk to ourselves, by the perceptions and feelings we focus on. And what makes meditation special is that you're consciously doing these things. You're aware of what you're doing while you're doing it. And you begin to realize as you watch that there are skillful and unskillful ways of shaping your experience, and you want to shape it in the right direction. We give you some instructions in the beginning to remind you that the best direction right now is to develop powers of concentration. But a lot of what's going to develop in the meditation is going to depend on your own powers of observation. As you see what you're doing, and beginning to see the results of what you're doing. And in some cases you can follow the instructions to do it better. In other cases you've got to use your own powers of observation and your own ingenuity to figure out the best way of doing this. Because this process of developing is an important part of the practice. We hear so much about letting go, letting go. But that's not the entirety of the practice. And John Fu made that comment to me when I first went to study with him. There's people talking about letting go, letting go, but it's only half of the practice. The other half is developing. You're trying to develop good qualities in mind. And it's by watching yourself as you do it. That's how you're gaining your discernment. The more carefully you watch, the more you're going to see. So pay full attention right here, right now, to what you're doing. And the results are bound to come. You realize that there are certain ways of breathing that feel better than others. Well, you can go with those. Certain ways of thinking calm the mind down. Well, go with those ways of thinking. What you're trying to do here is put yourself in charge of a process that's gone on for a long time with only half, half your attention. Now you're going to give it your full attention. And that's what's going to make the difference. 